was named Rose. So they wanted something very feminine, very floral. So basically the school of thought was house of uh, flamboyant kitsch, something, something, something very feminine. So that take this off and uh, that's how we began the entire project. As a child I've been visiting London a lot and I've been uh, chilling in this Elan cafe and uh, the roses and everything had me enamored all the time and as an architect I think so it always left a seedling in me that whenever I get this chance I'm gonna make that kind of wall I'm gonna make this feminine beautiful beautiful space that's going to celebrate women and I got the chance with this hour. their basic guidelines was that we want to celebrate women a because he was opening it for his wife and uh, b that it should not be a run-of-the-mill design it should be something so different and women should feel special they should feel beautiful from within and it should be it's a very cliche thing to say now it's, it should be instagrammable we were looking for a kind of paint or a kind of texture that could survive the test of time as well as look just as beautiful, not just during the initial phase. But when I got to know about this particular product of yours, I was all the more excited that we'll be able to create the designs that we think of. The challenges came during the technical aspect of it, when we were discussing the technical parts, when we were making those little lights uh, and uh, those little kites that had lights in them. So basically all these things worked out, but ACP is a very flexible uh, material to work with. So kudos to you guys, you're really happy to use this product. It was serendipity for me. When I came across your, um, it was God's own calling, when I saw your materials. And basically your materials, they give wings to an architect. Whatever, we were actually importing cotton steel, we were importing different kinds of materials just to sort of uh, quench our clients' uh, needs. But when we saw an indigenous product with so many possibilities, we were, we were inspired to use it and uh, specifically beaten white, the concept was similar. Everything had to be so feminine, so pure, so white, pristine. So yes, with hints of gold, so it was a perfect, perfect match for our uh, project. We were waiting for it to happen because we were waiting for these materials, for these kind of textures because people who travel a lot specifically in our field, influences come from there. And all of a sudden we are questioning every material, every product that we see and we want to bring it down to our own country and to sort of play around with it, sort of get it into the tapestry of the architecture we are doing. The kind of samples they got in, they weren't those teeny tiny ones that, that actually leave you groping in the dark. They give you an, ex they make you experience the material, the way it is and the visuals, the renditions that you had, the 3D renders, they sort of they sort of gave us, uh, they were more like a prophecy ki it will look like this by the end of it and you can be pretty confident about it. To achieve that kind of look, there were a lot of hit and trials. We went into a lot of PNC, permutation combinations were applied. But we learned with our experience and it was almost like a travel time. And whenever, and when we came down to a solution, it was, it was brilliant.